All right, everybody. Chewy and I coming at you today with another Marvel Crisis Protocol video. And this time we're going to be talking about my X-Force slash Avengers list that I'm working on because uh, I'm going to the Squad Goals Tournament in May with some uh, with some friends here from Wisconsin. And uh, they just asked me out of nowhere. I was going to start asking and looking around, see if I needed teammates. And I'm in, I got into this pretty late. I wasn't going to go originally because I have just things planned. And uh, those things didn't come through, so I'll, I do have time, and I will be heading out to squad goals, and I did get asked to play on this team tournament. And um, I'm going to take the challenge and play X-Force, which right now, X-Force, one of the best affiliations in the game right now, and I'm happy to say that, especially with the changes to Cable and Deadpool. A lot of, they're a lot of fun to play. And uh, I can't wait to talk about this list and how I stumbled upon this, basically. And it's a work in progress, guys. This isn't like the ultimate, hey, this is going to win you a tournament tomorrow kind of list. This is a work in progress, all right? Like, I'm just getting started. I'll, you know, post some games up soon and show you how it's doing and all that stuff. Don't worry. Take your time, guys. All right? But, if yeah, if you guys can't do me a favor, like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. Do all those things y'all got to do. And I'm always going to have Marvel Crisis Protocol content. Um, we're still trying to get 2,000 subscribers, guys. Come on, get me there. 400 more, man. Those are the YouTube channels, man. Y'all got all the subscribers, man. Come over here. <laughs> Help me out, man. Get to 1,000. Um, anyway, let's get to it. So let's talk about the X-Force um, and the reason why I'm playing them. First off, Brotherhood is not available. My other teammate is playing Brotherhood, and I'm letting, let him take Brotherhood, and I'm like, that's fine. I'm going to this tournament. I've been on hiatus for too long. I'm going to this tournament to play games play against some of the best players in the country and improve and get better and just get out there and play Marvel again and getting back in the tournament grind again. And, uh, you know, the goal is to get to LVO next year, and the goal is to do very well at LVO next year. That is my goal. Uh, also, my other goal is to travel and go out to, to other countries and play Marvel as well. Will I do that this year? I don't know. Maybe that's a next-year plan, but I do want to get to London. I want to play against Pat Duffer and those guys. I want to go to... Uh, Italy, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I want to do that next year. So, and WTC, WTC will not be, I will not be going this year, unfortunately. Uh, but next year, it's going to be a next year thing. Um, so let's get to it. So that's how I played. I have, I chose to play X-Force. Um, so how I stumbled on the Avengers side of it. Well, let's get through it. So um, Cable is the leader. He's obviously the leader of X-Force. Uh, his leadership changed. It's it's really good now. You can It's still once per turn reroll. You can reroll fails now. And if you're within three, it denies them cover. So it's really strong. Uh, not that poopy leadership that he had before. And also, he's you know, he can do a little more damage now if he gets within range three. And, you know, he can reroll up to two of his dice. So that's really, really good. And it's an energy attack. So it's really good. Um, so Cable's the leader. Uh, Bishop is here because... Uh, he does have a size 4 throw, which is really good. Um, having a size 4 throw in his game is pretty damn strong, and he throws medium. It's a 3 power cost thing. Um, with his uh, mutant absorption, energy absorption, and him having an energy attack, and him putting out auto incinerate, that's what I'm going to be using him for. Um, one negative, and this is a huge negative, and I wish I talked about it more in my YouTube video when I reacted to Bishop. Um, Overload is just really bad on this character um i played a game yesterday and um you know i went up i i shot i i did my thing i didn't have priority going into the next turn he ends up getting one shot um we go into the next turn and because the overload is during the power phase i have to take the one damage i didn't get a chance to basically i did not get another i got one turn with bishop and that was it so you do have to be careful with this character and how you play him. I was pretty careful, but the minute I was – there's a couple of things I feel like you need to do. You need to – once he goes off, you need to make sure you maintain priority. So that way when you go into the next round, you can uh, – you know, you'll take your damage or whatever, but you can start doing things and start spending the power so you don't get overloaded again. Um but taking that one damage on his injured side, and his injured side, he's at five health. So I, I he just auto-dies. He literally auto-dies. Uh, so you have to be careful, and that's my one big negative with him right now. And, and honestly, like, if I were playing a real list and not in the squad goals, I would just swap him out for Bill and be done with it. Um, and that's just mean. I hate to say that. Uh, but he's he's X Force affiliated, and we have to play him. And he has a size four throw, and he's really good. He is good. I, I just overload is I'm telling you, terrible. Um, 
So let's go Deadpool. He's been improved. He's a breath of fresh air, and he's very, very, very fun to play. Uh, he's got a lot going on in his card. He's 3D4 defenses across the board. Um, I'll tell you what makes him really good. <laughs> he's got his uh, Merc with a Mouth, right? So Merc with a Mouth. Choose an enemy character within three of this character. It loses two power. A character may be affected by the superpower once per round. So if you're going off and you're popping off with Deadpool... You can really disable some characters, and you can do this to all the you can do this to a character per turn. Like it's not a once per turn thing. Now, granted, you need a lot of power to do that, but taking two power away from a beta ray bill that now can't throw is really strong. Taking two power away from anyone and ruining their their plays is really damn strong. Um, healing factor of two, of course, and he's just fantastic. The bang gaining a power now, he's just really good. Um, Psylocke is Xbox, X-Force affiliated. Of course, uh, you know, if, if I run into a Beta Ray Bill, I'm just basically just going to, or any, like, Web Warriors or whatever, anyone that I can, uh, is weak against Mystic, I need, I feel like Mystic attackers are needed now. Um, she's just there for that, and she could just pump out some damage. She can reroll her own dice. She's got martial artists. She's, she's just really good. Nothing much to explain there. Wolverine, uh, he's better now. Um, I decided to take him over Logan because Logan is really good and one of the best four threats in the game. Um, the reason why I'm taking Wolverine instead of Logan is because, well, with the rerolls, I don't have to worry about being within three of someone and not getting rerolls. And uh, the reroll with the uh, X Force leadership should help him out a little bit. Um, and he is X Force affiliated, so he's just he's he's just a breath of fresh air. But the best of what I can do is just really good. And um, I just needed to play, take a Wolverine. I took him. X-23 and Honey Badger, that's the package here. Um, playing them together, Honey Badger's my only two-threat. Thinking about going to another two-threat, but we'll figure that out as we continue to play this roster. And, you know, um, because she can't score. That's a, that's a huge problem. It's a huge detriment. Uh, granted, the bodyguard is really good, or the taunt, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is really good. And we're going to talk about some crazy plays with my tactics cards here in a minute. Um these two together are just really good. And uh, Honey Badger just harassing people is just funny. Um, so, how I stumbled upon the Avengers side of it. Um, I was, like, making this list, and I was like, okay, you're in, you're in, you're in, you're in, you're in. And then I remembered something. I was like, Deadpool, Cable, Wolverine are all Avengers. <laughs> so, I was like, okay, I feel like I need to dual affiliate this roster. Let's go Avengers. So um, I added Luke Cage here. Uh, Luke is just a menace. One of the best, if not the best, three threat in the game right now. Really good. Very tanky. Six health. Hard to get through. Has heroes for higher. Enough said. Um, that's one of the splashes that we're doing here. Um, I added Black Panther. Uh, King, T- King T'Challa. Um, moves long. He's a five threat. Um, this guy c- can pump out a ton of damage. Um also, if other characters are taking damage, he gains power, so he can go and do his bound really early if other characters are taking damage and pump out a ton of damage and possibly one-shot characters. Um, I have not. I'm debating on trying him with X Force to see if I can fit in the fit him in the points. Um, getting uh, you know the rerolls and plus the X Force leadership could be really strong in dropping characters. We I don't know yet. I've not tested. I've not tried it. But right now, if I'm going to play Avengers, it's going to be something with these characters here and uh this was this was crimson dynamo i just went and added king t'challa just to see how it goes and see if i like it or not um and then the leader i chose for the avengers is obviously sam wilson i think he has the best leadership of all the of all the avengers he has the best leadership um really good i mean you could possibly play him with cable as well you know to get the re-roll maybe you get the uh re-roll get the hit or turn into a ricochet and do other kind of things. So you can possibly play him with X-Force and uh, tr- give it a shot, right? So that's how I stumbled upon this. I was, like, making this, and I was like, okay, funny, you're an Avenger, you're an Avenger, you're an Avenger, add the leader. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the, that's the character rosters. Um, right now, uh, these are the Secures and Extracts. This is a work in progress. Um, Deadly Meteors, it's a C-shape. I mean, well, it's an I-shape. I know I'm getting used to that. Um, it's really good. I could just, you know... It's basically this is an you know if I'm playing X Force it's going to be attrition I'm probably going to play X Force here, uh, Infinity Formula uh, to map B. Um, of course I have characters that can shoot. I mean I got X I got Bishop I got Cable 
I mean, Captain America has a range four. Uh, Deadpool has a range four. Um, Psylocke has a range four. You get the point here. Like, we're going to be shooting and doing a lot of crazy things. And um, I think Map is pretty good. Are they the best at it? I don't know. Um, I have not played a lot of games on Infinity Formula. We'll see what happens. Intrusions, um, again, another aggro uh, thing. Um, you know, X-Force can use it. I mean, Cable can use it to get around and, uh, you know, do the thing. These two here are a work in progress. I can honestly swap this for Mayor Fisk. I played with Mayor Fisk yesterday uh, against my local, and I actually liked it for X-Force. Uh, Bishop is immune to stun, so he can just sit on that and just take a damage and not really care. Granted, you got to be careful for overload and getting him one shot, but uh, point is that he can play on it and be fine. Uh, Logan can play on it and be fine. Um, and I think I have one more. No, I don't. That is it. Um, so Mayor Fisk can be definitely be one of these. It I, it doesn't matter. I can just choose one and pick it. Uh, Daily Legacy Virus Cured, uh, Fear Grip, and Scrolls Infiltrate War Leadership. Um, I think this is a, these are fine choices. The threat levels are high. Um, of course, if it's a C shape, you know they want uh, X Force wants to play that. Um, Fear Grip as well. Scrolls is a neutral one. Maybe I can play uh, Avengers depending on what the secure is. If it's like an extremist or something like that, and I can go really wide with uh, Avengers, I can just you know if I if I land on one of these here, I can just play that and um, really good stuff there. And I still have all the, you know X Force and all that stuff that I can play. Um, so let's get to the extracts here, and I don't know why this is here. Uh, we're going to change that in a minute. I have no idea why that's there. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I don't know. All right. We're going to, we're going to change that in a minute. And I'll probably, as I'm going through the extra, after, as I'm going through the tactics cards, we'll probably figure it out. Oh, you know what? This is probably preserve the dream. That's funny. Is I put preserve the dream in here. Hold on. No, never mind. We're not going to – we're going to – that's Preserve the Dream, guys. All right. So let's get into the tactics cards. Um, this one is Preserve the Dream, and we're going to see if we can find it in here because I know I just pulled it out. This is this is hilarious. We're deviating. Now this now this video has just gone to hell. Uh, Carl, if you're watching this video, you got to fix that, I think. I don't know. <laughs> well, somebody's got to fix it. I have no idea. Whoever's in charge of the mod nowadays. I said a name, and I have no idea. Let's look at Preserve the Dream. Uh, we're going to bring this over here so that way we can read the card and I can just show you to uh, talk about it and why it's really damn good. Um, let's take a look at Preserve the Dream. Uh, let's get the alt button here. All right. When an, when an enemy character, it's X-Force reactive. When an enemy character targets an allied character with an attack, if it has a higher threat value than the allied character, any number of characters may spend one power to play this card. Characters that spend power to play this card immediately advance toward the attacking enemy character. Now, there's a lot going on here, so let's talk about this. So, enemy character has a target and allied character with an attack. If the enemy character has a higher threat value than the allied character, any number of allied characters may spend one power to play this card. Characters that spent power to play this card immediately advance towards the attacking enemy character. Okay, so as long as your character has a higher, as long as the enemy character has a higher threat value than the character that's being attacked, any character can pay one power to advance towards the enemy character. So, for example, let's say if you do, and we're going to talk about the sacrifice, and that's why sacrifice is here. So, let's say, for example, you can just go ahead and, let's say you do an attack, and you sacrifice into Honey Badger for whatever reason. Um, she's a two threat, right? So any character three threat and above is higher than this character. So your pool of characters increases to pull off Preserve the Dream, right? So it's easier to do this on a two threat than, let's say, like a five threat or a, a, a three or a four, right? Your pool of characters basically anybody in the game. Uh, outside of two threats that are attacking this character, but you're never going to sacrifice off of a two threat. That's just weird. Um, so you do that. You play Preserve the Dream. And then what's important about this card is that it doesn't say X-Force characters can pay a power to move towards. It says 
any number of allied characters may spend one power to play this card. So everybody can play the card, spend a power, advance towards the enemy character, and reposition all your characters to now set up to go and take down that character that just attacked Honey Badger, right? So the Sacrifice Preserve the Dream Play is really strong. And if you're playing X-Force, this card is an every game card. I'm sorry. Like, you're not playing X-Force without this card. Like, if you don't, I don't know what to say. You can, but you're, this card is very damn strong, and it's really damn good. Um, Avengers Assemble is when I play Avengers. I do need some turn one extract plays. What I mean by that is, is that I can, uh, let's say if I play Sam with Cable, um, Cable has two power. He can go ahead and play Avengers Assemble, move up and grab an extract, and then move away. And, um, you know, that's one of the strong plays that we can do there. Um, but I'm playing Avengers. Avengers Assemble is probably the, their best card, so it's really good. Brace for Impact is probably the best restricted card in the game. You need to stop throw damage. Um, X Force, uh, just to note, um, if they play against Brotherhood or any characters that have a lot of throw potential, um, they kind of die to that. So you need Brace for Impact to save your ass at some point in the game. So really good card. Cat and Mouse is one is probably the second best X Force card. Um, any character can be placed within two, and this helps out with you know getting you up the board and and shooting with one of the characters and getting your uh, attrition started. Fallback is just one of the best cards in the game. The timing on this card is nuts. Um, you spend two power advance away small, and you know you can probably set up uh, a weird sacrifice play with fallback. You know if you don't if you don't die, you can just fall back and get out of range of attack and get within range two of another character, and then you can do sacrifice into that character and all the other crazy shit. Heroes for Hire is, it's just, it's a great card with Luke Cage. It's absolutely fantastic. Don't have to explain much there. Mission Objective, um, you know, if you're playing against Rhino or anything like that, this stops this as a robbery, um, you know, and uh, keeps your extracts on you and keeps your, uh, how can I say this, keeps your scoring uh, lead alive, right? If a character, if you have an extract that your opponent wants, you want to keep it, you just mission objective onto another character, and then you just move it and you call it a day. Recalibration Matrix, um, this card is so damn good. Um, you know, if your character, if your opponent just spikes into you, um, you can just go ahead and do a recal and basically hope, hope to God that you roll better on the recal and your opponent rolls worse and it just saves lives. This card just saves lives. It's really good. Sacrifice, we just talked about it. It's a really good, I think it's really good with X-Force. Um, you can just sacrifice onto Honey Badger, or you can sacrifice onto another character, and they just live, and it is what it is. Uh, exceptional Healing, we're playing a lot of healing characters. We have one, two, three, four healing factor characters. Any one of these characters can use this card, and it's really good and keeps characters alive. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the X-Force slash... Avengers list that I'm working on for squad goals, and this is a work in progress, guys. Again, you know, you guys got any thoughts or whatever in the comment section down below. There's a reason why Bill, Hulk, and all those guys aren't here. I'm going to explain that again. We're playing in a team tournament. Other teammates have taken those characters. I cannot take them. So this is what I have to grab, and this is what I came up with. Uh, it is a work in progress. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts or recommendations in the comment section, definitely let me know down below. And, uh, I'll get some games up with this with this list and um, show you what it can do, what the potential is. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Keep playing MCP. Guys, remember, like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. And I'm always going to have that Marvel Crisis Protocol content for you guys. You guys take care. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.